Joining us this morning is uh, Mr. Bill Allen. Morning, Bill. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we get in these great conversations uh, before and after the, the program. and uh, It's just mind-boggling the way we... <laughs> We exist today, isn't it? Yeah, it huh? is. Uh, how are things out at uh, Titusville Ford? They're going well. Good. Things are good. We've got good inventory, uh, lots of good bargains. I think uh, you know things are things are looking up. Uh, you know we've uh, we've managed to survive the hurdle of the uh, UAW strike. Uh, it didn't affect us too badly as far as inventory and parts and pieces, and so hopefully. Uh, how much? How much was that a concern initially? And it, it wasn't just Ford, correct? There, I mean, a it lot was of, all three. Yeah, right. Uh, I think it was a, a big concern because the the longer you shut down, you know, we were at the point where we we're just starting to see the uh, supply chain start to um, get into a rhythm and maybe catch up with itself a little bit. Yeah. And then now all of a sudden you just stop the brakes on production. Well, you stop the brakes on production. You stop the need for all of the components to build those so you slow everybody down so are we you know potentially headed to a another delay similar to what COVID did to us um unfortunately it didn't last any longer than it did and um, production seems to be back online uh, at least in ford's world and we've you know gotten to the point where even though dealerships were still taking orders and ordering product nothing was getting scheduled so now the schedule needs to catch up with itself again but i i don't think it'll be as significant a delay as it was before i know there was that sort of that sense like we just we we, we made it through covid things are just getting back on track right. and yes. then this. <laughs> yeah we were starting to see uh length of order time come yeah. down length of delivery time come down um the uh, transportation companies were starting to catch up a little bit with product that was built to get it shipped because that's been another issue in itself. But all of that stopped, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Well, we're but, good now. So but we're we're yeah we're on a, on a better path I think than we were. You know uh, I don't know if we talked about this last month, uh, but uh, the the new location. Um, you really can't miss it. I mean, when no, you're... We're, we, they picked an excellent location when they, they moved from Mount Hope, Guys Mills, to here. Um, we're right in the hub of the traffic pattern. Um, we're easy to be seen. Yeah, you're up just enough where it kind of shows off everything. Exactly. When you round the corner, you see us. Um, you're also uh, easy access in and out, uh, so there's not any... Uh, trying to uh, any hide and seek game played to try and find the place yeah. you know um and we get all the traffic going north and south you know previous location in town years ago was kind of off the beaten path if you didn't follow the truck route and went straight through town um and then in in mount hope i mean you're you're only catching traffic that's going 27 and 173 yeah. so you had to drive a ways to find it so they, they did a really good job in locating it um, and did a nice job laying the facility out and ease to get in and out and uh, flow through service and go through the sales department to service and separate ent entrances so you didn't have to go through one to get to the other. You can, but you don't have to. You, you know, uh, something you've uh, always talked about, just being proud of the process and how things flow internally when somebody comes in to, to make that purchase. Uh, you know, nowadays it, it's a it's a big purchase uh, when you buy it, a vehicle. It is a large purchase and it, you know, it's, it's a purchase that shouldn't be taken lightly and people need to do their homework, due diligence, whatever you say to, to find the product they want, uh, to find the model they want. And it, it's, um, it's, it's easier than it used to be because there's a lot of different uh, avenues that people can look at different resources and see and find and, and look compared to the old picture book and what did you have. I mean, we've eliminated brochures and there's a, a bulk of the people that are disappointed in that, but there's also people that are very happy when you go on a computer and you build your car and price your car, yeah. you can change color, you can change interior, you can see what it does. A lot of them have like the 360 views you can... Oh, absolutely. The yeah. 360 views inside, outside, um, really make it nice so you can see what you're getting or as, as much of what you can getting, you know, and, and as inventory is, is, is starting to catch up with itself or get better, 
now there's product to go and look at so you can actually see the model, touch the model. You may not be buying that particular car by color or uh, package, but you'll get a good idea what you're what you're getting or what you what you want. Yeah, and and I would maybe suggest and you can disagree. Um, uh, you know, if you see that that vehicle, uh, whether it's new or pre-owned, you see it on the lot, it, it, and you have an interest in it, you might want to grab it. S- sooner is always better than yes. later. Yes. Um, you know, and that's not to say that you can't that you won't get one. The the days of I like that one, but I want this color, and somebody sitting down with the the computer and saying, "Oh, I can find one in Pittsburgh, and we can trade for it." Uh, those days have really thinned themselves out to where they're, I won't say they're not existent, but they're, it's more difficult Yeah. because nobody has a huge abundance and nobody wants to give up that huge abundance. Not that we're not willing to help each other out if we can, but we're going to do it so that we don't jeopardize our own existence. Right. Well, you know, there was a time when... You- to a degree where you could say, you know, give me give me a couple of days to think about this, mm-hmm. um, or you know, I'm I'm going to do some other, lo- you know, that's fine, but we're kind of in that environment too where uh, there's a good chance somebody else is looking at that, and if they come in, exactly, uh, you know, I I tell people all the time, they say, how much time do I have? You have as much time as you need and want, um, and everything's good here unless incentives change or you do something crazy to your trade in. But just remember, there probably are other people that have looked at this, whether we've talked to them or not talked to them. They may have looked at it after hours or online, and they may come in and, and buy the car. And the car is certainly available until somebody makes a commitment to purchase that vehicle. And so you're, you know, you're as much a gambler as you want to be. Yeah. But I agree with you. If 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 you want that particular item, it's no different than going to the store today. With inventories in other retail stores not being abundant, you need to, to seize the moment if you want it because you can come back two days later. If it's still there, you're in good shape. But if it's not, it could be a while before that same thing appears. Yeah. Uh, you know, that brings up uh, where we are this time of year, the holidays. And, Absolutely. And that's where you see a lot of that. Uh, I'll wait yeah. to get that. Are you sure? Because it might not be. Um, inventory-wise, uh, you know, this is... Uh, we always joke because there's so many factors that go into this time of year. You know, you're getting towards the end of the year. You're thinking, oh, maybe, maybe, you know, uh, we got some money, tax write-off for businesses. There, business write-offs, uh, you know, it's that time of year where is the, the old vehicle giving you problems or does it need major work done before winter sets yep. in? So do I look at a, a, a nice late model pre-owned or do I make the move and go clear to a new? Um is, is the in the program at the, the right time or is the product exactly what you're looking for based on what your lifestyle is going to do down the road? Uh, there's there's a lot of factors. Yeah. Um, you yeah, got new models, new model years well, getting uh, ready. And- uh, yeah, the new models are coming. The the old, the current models are still a great value. Mm-hmm. You When you buy the, the current model or, or 23 model versus 24, you don't suffer the price increases uh you don't suffer the uh, you know you're going to get a little better incentive uh, ford's been very generous lately on their in uh, interest side and and running a lot of zero percent 0.9 1.9 2.9 which is uh, a significant savings when you look at the overall amount of money you're going to pay back on that vehicle compared to what um, normal lending institutions banks credit unions are at um in in their rates so that a little bit of interest savings can save you a fair amount of money. Do people forget term. what interest rates used to be on vehicles back oh, in the 80s? Absolutely. And that? Okay. You, you know, we, we listen to it all the time now. I can't believe interest is 6 7 8%. I mean, I'm old. I've been in doing this a, a long time. But I remember pre-car um, business in the late 70s, early 80s, we saw interest rates of 18 and 19% as a normal, as a good rate. Yes. With good credit. <laughs> right. Um, you know, and, and it, it's a shock to people because it wasn't only a year, year and a half ago, we were in the twos, threes, and fours, and now we're in the six, sevens, and eights. But it still doesn't make that vehicle unaffordable. You just have to look at what you have, 
what your trade values are, what your purchase price is, and any incentives that apply. Um, and, and right now, Ford has some nice incentives. If anybody's interested in an, a total electric vehicle, uh, Ford's put a lot of money on the, the Mach-E's right now uh, to save the consumer quite a bit of money. I think we have one out there that we have almost $9,000 off on. So yeah, that's a significant savings if someone wants to move to the next generation of vehicles. Uh, I was just uh, looking, Bill. I was just curious. Uh, this is a Ford pickup truck uh, commercial from the 1980s. Mm -hmm. um, I was just looking at the mile. I mean, that's not it wasn't, horrible. No. It wasn't horrible back then. No. It, it's, um, but it's amazing where we've come to with pickup trucks from where they were to where they are today. And, and I think it's a known fact that that's why the domestic manufacturers have all gone away from sedans and cars and moved into the pickup and sport utility market because that's where their demand's at right now. Um, is, is, but that's driven by lifestyle, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we, we've seen a change in lifestyle now as families have gotten smaller in numbers. We've seen a movement away from the minivans into the mm. midsize sport utilities. Uh, th there's only two or three people making minivans anymore. Before, everybody was making a minivan. Now we're into the, the midsize and... Uh, larger sport utilities with the versatility there and our pickup trucks are mostly a crew cab pickup anymore we sell some super cabs we sell a few regular cabs but everybody's buying a four-door full-size pickup truck isn't it crazy how um how comfortable i mean there was a time when it was like you're getting a truck because you're your home was a work truck it was a work truck right now, it, yeah, now it's there's comfort more comfortable than <laughs> yeah. the, the automobile. <laughs> yeah, and and the fuel mileage is is come up tremendously across the board in in all of the bigger trucks and all the manufacturers um, to where they're equivalent to the midsize and larger sport utilities or better. Wow, it, it's it, it's crazy, but our lifestyle has driven us to that based on what we do in this country as far as where we work, what we do for fun, and how nice we've made it. Is it is it rare for somebody to come in and say, I don't know what I'm looking for, I don't know what I want? Would you say most people are coming in with a good idea of what they're looking for? I, I think a lot of people, the majority of people come in with something in mind. Okay. Okay? They don't always go home with what they started out with. Yeah. You know, whether it be same model or color or whatever, but... Most people come in looking for a specific model, um, whether it be a pickup, whether it be a sport utility, whether it be a, a Mustang or years ago back into the, the, the smaller cars. You know, I want to see a Focus. I want to see a Fusion. I want to see an Escape or whatever model it is. And then once you show it to them and then they compare it to the one above it or below it, then starts the, well, maybe I should consider this instead of this. But they, most people come in with something in idea of what they're looking for. Very few come in and say, I'm going to buy something, but I have no idea what I'm going to buy. What well, kind of, going back to sort of the lifestyle thing, how important is it for you to, to ask those questions to kind of see what interests they have, what they're using it for, you know, to, to kind of steer right. them in the right direction? I, I think it's, it's really important because the last thing a consumer wants to do is buy something that they think will work that isn't suited to do what they want to do. Yeah. Or if it's way overkill and they're not comfortable with it, and then they decide they want to part with it shortly down the road, then it costs them a lot more money to get back out of that and unwind all that than it is if you do some homework up front. Well, and I, I, I've talked to you about this where we've had, uh, uh, you know, the RV guys say to us, yeah, you know, somebody comes in, buys the RV, they're all excited. And then we ask them the question, how are you towing this after they've already purchased it and they don't have the right vehicle to exactly. tow? Exactly. So when they're coming in, I'm sure it's important to say, oh, yeah, we plan on towing this or we're going to haul this or we're going to do this. Correct. Okay, yeah. yes, this can handle that. Or no, you're going to want to look at this. this. Yes. 
and, and, and that's important whether you're looking at a sport utility or whether you're looking at a pickup truck. And also, how many people do you need to move? How much, if you're buying a truck, how much bed size do you really need? How much are you going to use it? Um, you know, all of those factors are important questions, I think, to, to steer you to the right product. Uh, none of it's meant to be nosy. All of it's meant to, to help, help the you, consumer yeah. and, and get the right fit, fit for what you're doing or as close to fit as you can get. Uh, you're watching The Morning Drill on stream television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel. Bill Allen with us this morning from Titusville Ford. Uh, Bill, I don't think we're going to see you in December. So Correct. Uh, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas. We're going to try to wrap into one here for you. Uh, what would make a great gift under the tree? What do you have we, on the lot? And we, we'll start got, with that. We've got a nice selection of... Um, Pre-owned sport utilities, uh, edges, escapes, explorers, um, nice selection of used trucks, um, good selection of 23 product uh, as far as cars or trucks. Uh, we've got three mach We've got a nice Ooh. new brand new Mustang GT that's really nice redesigned for 24. Um, Explorer, escape, edge, um, half-ton pickups. So there's a, a nice selection of product there, and we've got a lot of product coming in the next two to three to four weeks. Um, if you if you don't aren't interested in purchasing a new vehicle, maybe buy a gift certificate for an oil change or a remote start or you know accessories of floor mats or that type of thing for a friend or family member, or just come in and buy a blanket certificate of here's X number of dollars towards service repair. Um, th there's all kinds of ways to do it. Pay for a state inspection. There, there's a lot of product that you can buy that would be helpful to those people um, in their budget. Yeah, and, and those make great gifts. And it, it, it's it's a good time to do it, and it takes one person off your shopping list. And as you mentioned, uh, lots of product on the lot. Uh, if you come by and, and take a look, you're going to discover quite a bit. You're going to see a lot, and if you don't see what we have, uh, talk to us, and we'll see if we can't find what you're looking for to, to fit your need. You know, in the, in the nice thing about all of the other stuff we talked about, and, and even the automobiles, is it's nice to buy at home and keep things here to support businesses, as support things within the community. Uh, I think that's uh, really important in, in, the, in this day and age in market with everybody trying to, to cope with everything we've gone through and continue to move forward and grow going forward, I think is important. Uh, I know uh, with, with the internet, it's it's fun to sit at home and, and design your car and, and go that direction. Um, when when it comes to the, the end part of that, should they come in and, and just sit down and just make sure you know all the T's are crossed, I's are dotted? Y yes, absolutely very important because when you build it and build in price in, in Ford's website, you're, you're building the car, but sometimes there are different packages that may be of an advantage to the buyer yeah. versus what they've put on it that may give them as much or more equipment for the same amount of money or just a little bit more. And it, and it all depends on whether you're buying it, how long you're going to keep it, whether you're leasing it, what whatever process you're going to go through once you make that decision. But... Those are excellent guidelines, and they're very close in pricing. But sometimes there's a, an update that hits our computer in our building section section versus what's on the, the Internet itself. Um, but uh, it, to me, it's always better to go in and sit down and bring your papers and say, here's what I want. And, and build it so that it matches or say, okay, this is what you built. What if you did this? Is this a better fit for what you want to do? And there we are back to what is the use of that vehicle yeah. and what particular engine size or rear end gears or whatever, based on what you're going to do with that vehicle. I may not spend any more money, but a different ratio may give you more uh, versatile use than the smaller ratio, you know? So those are all questions that, that could be answered, or maybe they don't know, and it's a question that they need some guidance in getting the correct answer on. Well, again, uh, there's there's so much more than what you just see on the site, and I, I think um, 
you don't want to lose that that face to face, and you you actually right. get to to talk to somebody and ask questions. And we've talked before. It's funny because you you know you pull up, you get out of the car, and you're walking the lot, and you're like, uh, you know, you see the salesperson run out. You're like, oh no no, we're good, we're just looking. And then within two seconds, they got you turn and walk away. It's it's uh, like sir, I've got, got a question. Yeah, it's like you're taking a test all of a sudden. <laughs> right. And that's good. That's that's yeah. the way it should be. Um, you know, and, and when you when you come in and sit down, and then after you've ordered, if you have questions, you still have a an individual to go back to and say, now, did we do this or did we do this? Uh, this is this and this is this or this is going to change or can we, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you have a, a, con- a point of contact that you can get direct answers instead of looking at the computer and guessing. Computer's a great guideline. Don't, don't Bill, that I wrong. know you helped me set my phone up uh, to the radio, but uh, somehow I pushed the wrong button. Can you help me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get that? I got that the other day. It, it's showing me military time. Somewhere you bumped the button that says you went to the 24-hour <laughs> right. mode. Let's get back to you know, and it's it, And everybody does it. I do it. Uh, you know, you, you, you start pushing buttons and you hit the wrong one. And then, okay, now how do I get back to where I was at? Well, it also, uh, to me, says that, uh, you know, maybe you are paying attention driving and you're just kind of reaching, pushing things. Yeah. and There's there's some things that you, you just can't do when you're driving yeah. that, that the, the vehicle won't let you do. I'm surprised the screens are getting bigger and bigger. Oh, it, it, we, yeah. It, I don't know if it's because they want us to see more stuff. Or because we're going blinder. I'm not sure which is, <laughs> is what they're doing, but they're sure helping us with the size of them. Bill, great seeing you. Good to uh, be here. All the best this holiday season. Happy yep. Thanksgiving and Christmas to you. Same to you and your family and everybody that supports us. We appreciate everything you do for us. Uh, how can folks find you? You can find us at uh, Hightown Road in Titusville or at 814-827-3673 or on the web at titusvilleford.com. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Thank you.